Parthenon was 1928, and uh, <clears throat> by then I knew more about uh, architecture and the history. But the actual presence of those stones, the actual thing was entirely different <clears throat> in the books. If you've just seen pictures of the Parthenon, you haven't the slightest idea of what it is. But to be on that hill, in that particular hill, <clears throat> the other great hills around you, and, and be standing with those stones practically in your hands, because a lot of them were falling down, uh, was an experience that uh, was second only to, uh, was, was like the experience in Charlotte. And I wrote an article at that time saying the pre-Parthenon Philip Johnson and the post-Parthenon Philip Johnson, because that was the strongest single point of my uh, learning about architecture. But I was already 22, I should have known more. I should have known that in 22, 1922, when I was, I don't know, I can't figure it out, 17, 18, that I was going to do that. But I thought everybody did, so I would do what, what I was interested in, which was at that time music, philosophy, and the Greek language. So one of those three I was going to be into. And then I caught the, had this terrible thing happen to me in, in the Parthenon. And so, but it wasn't until 34 I had sense enough to go and get my education. Education is terribly important. But uh, at the time, I wouldn't have none of education. It was all feeling and being converted to a dedication. To